Hey everyone, welcome to The Depot. My name is Brad and today I am back with another build video. And this one took a re like, a, just a long time in general. So like a heads up, I'm kind of sorry for <laughs> the delay and how long it's taken me to upload it. It's just, it took a little bit longer than I anticipated to plan out as a build considering I only had one idea, which was the, um, to obviously kind of copy the coal house, which was like an old building, which I'd redone and added like modern pieces to. So I wanted to follow through with that, but um, I had this little oblong, rectangle, triangle-ish room I just did back there, which is the only dark room, I guess, um, was the main idea I had for this build. And <laughs> I based the rest off of that, I guess. And it just kind of unfolded really slowly. And uh, sorry, but I also had uh, my tough out because my root canal, like I said last time, failed. So that was a mess for like four days, but I'm kind of okay now. So I guess I could talk. Well, I could talk anyway, but it just felt weird talking because I was like, I don't want to die. Um, but yeah, so I uh, finished. <laughs> this is the build video and I'm talking about it. So anyway, it's actually a museum build, if you didn't tell by the title or like the lot that I'm building it on. I guess I'm just going to rename it after the original museum that was put here because like I said, well, I haven't said it actually. This is actually a replacement of the museum, if you will. I just wanted it to mimic, like I said, the coal house and look like uh, the promenade was like kind of like a retaken part of history in a way, you know, like certain buildings, these two specifically were like refurbed, <laughs> even though I refurbed movers and shakers as well, but I only kept like one corner of the building looking the same. So I guess it's a completely new build. I don't know. Um, so yeah, basically I just kind of wanted to, like I said, merge old and new. And this is basically what I came up with. There's like lots of red brick, lots of um, concrete from spa day, but in the dark gray. And then lots of aluminium on the windows, I guess. And a few overhangs on the modern buildings, which kind of... <laughs> took a while as you can see here with the triangle pieces it was just to look a little bit annoying and I know some of you are going to be like you could have just dragged it but like I don't know I'm still not too trusty of the dragon thing I mean it does work in like you know left right up down but diagonal just freaks me out like you'll see later on when I do the fountain part of this build it's kind of really annoying <laughs> to drag out a fountain and it's actually turned out a little bit wrong as well but it looks really really nice in the final footage so I don't know how that happened but it doesn't look bad when it's completely done, but it does until I finish. So when we get to the fountain, please ignore that it's like bigger on one side than the other, but that's only on the pathway. If you, ugh, why am I talking about that? We're on the roof anyway. Kind of a messy roof, I gotta be honest. I wanted to kind of, like I said, mimic the coal house, which was a, like a coal production uh, thing. And I've turned it into a restaurant. And this is kind of like a similar thing, but now it's a museum, if you will. So. Yes, but because of the size of the building, it's a lot bigger. And the chimney, I wanted to make it bigger. It kind of uh, didn't really look too good in the roof part. So I did my very, very best to try and cover it up, but it still doesn't look too right. Um, but it's literally, like I said, the best I could do. And I'm sorry if you do not like, but um, feel free to try and adjust and change. I would not recommend though, because it's a bit fiddly on the roof. And I've got to be completely honest. And uh, someone did help me in, I think it was my seaside home build. Uh, if you do place any of my lots, please make sure that Move Objects is on because of the shrubbery I put up the walls and a few things that obviously are only capable of being there if Move Objects is on, they will get deleted. And it's a bit annoying because I don't want you guys to judge me and think that I do not furnish my builds or like do not, or like, like literally like leave plants the way they are when you place the lot and it doesn't work. Like, I'm not that bad, I promise you. I mean, I'm, I'm a lot not great, but like, not that bad. So um, here we are, it's just like my literal idea for the whole thing, like I mentioned. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was thinking, I just wanted like an atrium, if you will, like a really, really modern atrium off of this like old building. I know I've mentioned that I'm trying to mix old worlds and new worlds, I guess, in architecture, but I'm trying to stay away from repeating myself. So I just wanna say that, that those are the two additions to the building. And then it's like inside is like a mix of both, but I guess I'll just save that till we get inside, but I'm just getting a bit excited because <laughs> I'm, I'm really chuffed with how it turned out. I've got to be completely honest. I'm really, really happy because, and it was fun to do. And, but just a heads up, it does look a bit underfurnished, obviously, because it's a museum and the bulk of the stuff is on the walls. So when you play it with walls down, it's like, hey, you haven't done anything. But I promise if you put the walls up, you'll be like, oh, it looks like a museum. So yeah, so in a build video, it looks great. But if you download this house and you play it with the walls down, just a heads up, you might be a bit like, oh, this isn't even a build. When it is, I promise, it's just a bit messy. And uh, here, I don't know what I was going for. I kind of just went along with it. Originally, it was going to be part of the museum, but 
actually, finally, it turns out to be a coffee shop. And I know they do not work unless the lot is specifically told it's a coffee shop. But it's just literally for aesthetic reasons. And you can hire someone if you really want to be that person. Same with the bar area that I do outside. Like, I wanted it to be kind of like a museum, but also like a savvy museum. So like, you know, if people go there to like look at the paintings and the sculptures and stuff. But then it's like, oh, hey, there's a coffee shop here. Why don't we stop for like a drink or whatever? And people do. So yeah. <laughs> and it's also a bar outside, so if you really want to stop for a drink, hello. Um, you might be wondering why there's two front doors, and that one is literally just for show. I figured, like, let's keep the original door there as, like, uh, a joke. Not a joke, but, like, I don't know. I just thought it looked nice. Like, it was the door to the original building. But, of course, we have an atrium now, which is obviously the new entrance. Is an atrium, does it have to have uh, grass in it? I don't know. It does, a little bit in the end, but... Um, no plants, so I don't know if I should call it an atrium. But yeah, uh, and then the bathrooms are behind the door. <laughs> Which is funny, because I don't know how I made that decision, but I guess it worked in my head. This is the only place they really went, so that's why they're quite small. I didn't really think about toilets until, like, I'd finished building the house. Not finished building it, but planning out the rooms. And I was like, well, I really like how it looks now, so I can't just go back and, like, change out a room. for. I did originally try and put them upstairs, but it just did not work. And I'm so glad it didn't, because... I think the build flows quite well. I know that sounds so silly to say, but um, in terms of how your Sims would go, like, <laughs> it works, I think. The, it's like a whole, the old chimney room is like a two-story thing now, and it's it's nice, it's different. Um, so here we have the fountain. I think you can see there is a little bit of a cut coming there. It is because uh, this is the first time I've tried that, like, joiny dot thing, and it, it's good, don't get me wrong, but obviously, because it was the first time, I obviously messed it up a little bit. So, yeah, um, I'm not too happy about this part, just because, like I said, you are probably going to be able to tell that I messed up a little bit. Like, it's thinner on the left than it is on the right. I do adjust it from what it looks like right now, because it's completely wrong at the moment. But um, I don't actually fix it 100%. But um, it does look great, I will say that. See, I kind of push it back. That's more or less what I was going for. Like, I extended that, and I shouldn't have. See? This is what happens when you overdo things. Like, I just shouldn't have done that. Oh, see? Oh. Yeah. There you go. Or I shouldn't have made that one down. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Because what well, you can't tell once all the borders in and the people are walking around and the fountains are in. It looks lovely. But if it really does bug you that much, like I said, feel free to change it back. But I wanted, like, a really weird... It's kind of got a weird foreground, I've got to be honest. Like, one side's water, one side's gravel, and one side's shrubbery and green. S like, I, I don't know, don't ask, but I, like I said, I really do like how it all came together in the end. It was a bit of a mess, but it works. So, hmm, that's my advice for everyone. If you hate something, just, I don't know, change one thing and it'll probably make a ma massive difference, I guess. That's what I did anyway, because that was originally a wood atrium, but now it's concrete and it looks a lot better. So, yes. Um, so like I said, atrium, kind of happy with it. I was going to originally do it like all glass, like the coffee shop is, but... It just looked a lot better, I think, having, like, the little wall in between each window every now and then. Like, it just made it more of a building, I guess, as opposed to, like, a conservatory. And if you don't know what that is, it's, like, just a room of glass. <laughs> I mean, Google it. I'm sure it'll come up really quick, I promise. Um, you can't build them in The Sims 3, though. I mean, you can, but also not really, because most of the time they have, like... I'm, I don't have a conservatory in this building. I'm talking about conservatories. But anywho, so, yes, this is the grass part portion of the atrium. So I guess it could officially be classed as an atrium, because I'm hearing atrium, and I'm hearing, like, it needs to have greenery in it, or some kind of a plant. So, yes. The only downside, I think, to the floor tiles of the grass is that we can't actually use terrain paints on them. So putting shrubbery here... And then blending it and making it look natural with dirt would be impossible. I've gone around it in certain builds, like when they're on the floor above and no one really sees them. I don't mind putting shrubbery on it then. But as this is literally the entrance foyer, if you will, I thought it would be a bad idea to just have, like, unnatural shrubs sprouting out of, like, my sculpture. Because I did want to have, like, a cool sculpture in here. And then I chose purple as an accent colour because the, the lights that I chose came in a purple. Uh, the sofas and the sculpture had purple accents too. So it's purple. Um, and then just put any original plaque by here. Like, it, just pretend with me, please, that it's, like, the original plaque of the building. I still haven't made up in my mind. Like, the other one was a coal production building, hence why it was called the Coal House. And I have no idea what this used to do. But if you want to pretend it made coal, it made coal. If you want to pretend it... Was the courthouse of Willow Creek? I don't know. I really don't know. 
I don't even know if Willow Creek's like where it is. I'm assuming America, I guess, because it's so like the builds in The Sims 4 are so American inspired, like not in a bad way. I mean, it's nice and all, don't get me wrong, but very, very decorative and stuff on the like fascias and stuff. Like we have those in the UK, but like, I don't know. We don't have like, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to get at. The houses in The Sims, The Sims 3, I didn't feel was as American as The Sims 4 is. Not that that's a bad thing, obviously. I just shouldn't mention anything. I'm, I sound awful. I like American architecture, don't get me wrong. It's like, obviously, so varied and nice. It's amazing. Um, but uh, just more decorative. Oh my God, I just whacked my microphone. Stop talking with your hands, seriously. Um, so yeah, if you can probably tell, I'm trying to mimic, like bring in a brick wall from the original wall that's been washed and then also paint with like a off white cream beige color because this is meant to be like the original features of, not the walls by any means, but the floors and like the windows are meant to be the original features of the actual building. And then of course you have like the black tile, which in the hallway, which is like the modern part, like, you know, the refurbed part, if you will. So I basically wanted these to be like little pictures in, not pictures, little stands. I don't know. What, what do you call like a nook? A nook? A history nook? I don't know. I've never built a museum before. It's really hard. Um, just like little portraits into, that doesn't make any sense either, but I'm going to say a little portraits of history that you can walk into and it's like, oh, oh, are we still in 2017? I mean, yeah. But anyway, here we go. So this is the room with all the nice artwork. And just before you all come down on me, I know this isn't exactly the most expensive, but they all fit perfectly and they were all kind of the same theme, which is like traditional framework and pictures as opposed to modern ones. So yes, um, I really do like them. I gotta be honest, I never use them on my house bills just because they would amp up the price so much. And I don't think that they usually take up enough space to warrant being like 6,000 simoleons for one picture. And obviously if you put four of those in a house, that's like <laughs> maths. Uh, <laughs> It was like 12, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my God, no, that's two, lol. 24, I'm so bad, oh! Um, anyway, here we go with the plates on the wall because I thought the middle part was a bit like, <laughs> um, And yeah, I've never really used Ottomans before. I should probably start using them in my builds properly. I didn't really know they were there until I came to the museum and was like, oh, what are these little chairs? And then here we go. So those might be in my builds from the future. Like I literally find out new things all the time whenever I try to make a video. It's kind of embarrassing, but also, I don't care. So, um, yeah. Moving on to the, uh, not an atrium, I guess you'd call it the old chimney in a way. The old chimney room, even though it's got windows on it, so I don't know what I'm talking about clearly. You can tell I didn't work in coal production? I, what, what would you call things that need chimneys? Um, I don't know, like uh, metal production? Anything production, I guess. Um, so I kind of figured I'd use this room as like, cause it is shaped perfectly for it, like a standing for like the old night suits. And I chose one in every different color. And um, it just really worked out. I got two stand in front of the windows and then the main gold one standing in the light of two windows on his own. And then plaques to explain what they are because museums have plaques, right? You know, when you go there and it's like, you look at it and you're like, what's this? And there's this thing in front of you that explains what it is. Well, that's what I figured that would be. And I incorporated the uh, gold, what are they called? Like ropes, VIP ropes, because most museums have that, I think. Like, you know, when you go to them, it's like, don't pass this point, don't touch, you know? So, and I, it, I like it, it looks quite cool. That's why it was so weird. It's so different from a house build that it's quite a shock to the system. Like even trying to voice this over, like talk over it is very different. Like most of this build video was just me building it. And I was like, well, I don't really talk that long about how I build it. Cause it's like the most boring part. The fun part is this, you know, you put things in and it starts to come together. It's like, Ooh, look at that. But you know, that just took a really long time with this build video, but now we're at it now and I can't stop talking and complaining. So great. Um, up here, which I'm very, very happy with is like the, because it is a requirement with a museum to have an easel, I figured, right, why don't we have some kind of like an art class idea? It's not obviously happening in The Sims. We don't have a mechanic for that. But you know, like just use your imagination. That's what The Sims is about. Um, yeah, like an art class up here that is daily or whatever. And you just come up here and you all paint. Obviously there's three, three easels, there's three of you. But um, yeah, it's nice. I really like it. It's not like too decorated or anything. There's just like a lot of, I thought that looked like a arts and crafts box, you know, with paints and stuff in, even though it's a survival kit, but it just looked nice. And obviously the one by the blue thing is just meant to be like inspiration from books or whatever. 
So yes, um, and then this here is like a lounge if you'll probably think that, but I got the idea like the museum in my city has like loads of interactive things like, you know, screens and stuff and like loads of rooms that like show you movies and stuff to explain certain things. So I figured, why not have that here? I mean, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't work that way. Like let's not get ahead of ourselves, but um, I don't know. I just figured it was a nice addition and it made it more fun. Like if you bring a sim here, <laughs> their fun is low. You can just bring it up here and watch TV for a bit. So they won't, you know, hate you. But um, yeah, and I use these pictures. I know they're not expensive or anything, but I figured they could be like the original plans to the building. Which, as I say, I kind of realise how silly that sounds, considering they're not even, like, even remotely similar to the building that I've just built. So, um, maybe just ignore what I just said or whatever, but, uh, yeah. Um, and then also including two more pictures up here for, like, good measure, I guess. I mean, like I said, it's, like, to teach you what it's about, but maybe these people owned the building originally when it produced some form of metal or coal or, I don't know, fossil fuel? I don't, like, what? Natural resource, I guess? Yeah. So, um, obviously, put two more of those lights because uh, they look really good in, like, traditional settings, I guess. And I like them against the modern part downstairs, so I use them upstairs as well. So, my bad. And then here is the modern artwork because I figured, you know, bringing two worlds together wouldn't make sense unless I actually did it with artwork as well because it is a museum. And this one here isn't artwork. It's meant to be, like, rules of the um, museum. So, like, when you walk in, it's like, do not touch, do not do this, do not do that. I know it's an eye chart, so, like... Maybe a sim could get an eye test here too. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, bathrooms. By the way, I only do one and I skip out the second one because they are literal uh, copies of each other because obviously they're just separated to male, female bathrooms. I don't know. Um, but they're exactly the same on the inside. So there's no point in really showing you two of the same things. It would have just made this video longer than it needed to be. Ha ha. And now moving on to the, uh, what's it called? The coffee shop, which took a while to, for me to work around. I mean, you obviously can't tell right here, but when I was trying to plan it out, I was like, okay, because uh, never done a coffee shop before and the counters were a bit confusing because they do not, <laughs> they do not have the same dimensions as like counters do. So I do not know how EA made it look as good as it does in the coffee shops they have in Windenburg, but maybe I'll just play around with the coffee shop soon and Maybe do a build video on it just so I can get a little bit better. <laughs> Learning curves for everyone, I guess. And then just jars above it because I figured it's kind of coffee shoppy, maybe. And it's kind of, yeah. But by the way, this room is quite dark. So at the end of the video, which isn't in the video at all, except for the in and out footage, I think, at the end and the beginning, possibly, um, I put two lights in the corners, just like freestanding, like, what are they called? Floor lamps. Haha. <laughs> uh, just because it was really dark in here, like I said. So. There's no need to worry about that anymore. And if you don't like red, I am sorry. <laughs> I just kind of follow the theme of like a wall color that I liked and then just wound up like this. And I have wanted to use these chairs in like a coffee shop setting like for a while, but I never found like a right color or use for them. And then I decided to do red with this table and then here they are. So oh, I kind of like it. I don't know why. I just think it looks interesting. Very contrasting difference from the rest of the museum, I think. So yes. And then obviously just salt and peppers on top because Restaurant, not restaurant, coffee shop. But still, you know, you gotta be presentable to guests. And then just a simple outdoor bar area. And as I said, this and the coffee shop do not work. You would have to hire the bartender yourself. But uh, do not worry, uh, it's not too much of a big deal. Unless you wanna pay 200 uh, simoleons for both and at a time just to visit the museum, I doubt. But if you've got loads of Sims and mother loads your friend, then why not? But at the same time, if you don't wanna do that then, this is just for aesthetic reasons and quite a lot of Sims come here anyway just to pour themselves a drink. So like, do not worry about it. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately we are coming to the end of the video. So I would just like to take this moment to say a massive thank you to anyone who has watched this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'm sorry once again that it's taken me so long to get it out. I really, really do apologize for that. Um, if you'd like to download the museum, it will be on the gallery under my name, The Sim Depot. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've enjoyed, like I said, maybe you could possibly give the video uh, a like for a good measure. And I don't know, because <laughs> you feel sorry for me. Um, I have my tough out, remember? Uh, but anyway, 
Oh, uh, yeah, and my men have mentioned that you should probably subscribe to the channel, but that seems a bit weird to also try and tag on at the end, even though I do it in every one of my videos. So, um, yes. Oh, and music, because everyone loves music when they're drunk. <laughs> so, moving on to some landscaping, which I obviously cut out for you guys, so please enjoy the final footage. And I shall see you guys next time with another build video before we get back to my legacy challenge. So, until then, uh, good boy.